What's going on guys, Sasuke the Savage here. Happy Halloween to everybody watching this video. Whether you choose to celebrate this day by dressing up or by getting candy. And listen, I don't give a fuck how old you are. Go and get that candy by any means. It's free, my niggas. It's free, all right? Whatever you guys choose to do, just stay safe, okay? Or like we say in the hood, y'all boys be safe. Let me take off this goddamn mask because it's starting to hurt my head. Shit. All right. All right. For this video, what I'm going to do is choose my favorite Nin abilities from each of the six categories listed, all right? But I'm going to pick three of my favorite Nin abilities for a total of 18 Nin abilities when it's all said and done. Now, here's the thing. Some Nin abilities aren't exclusive to one category. Some Nin abilities require you to use two different or even three different categories. So if that's the case, you can choose whatever category you want just to fill up space. So again, three Nin abilities for the Conjurer category, three for the Meta category, three for the Transmuter category, three for the Specialist category, three for the Manipulator category, and three for the Enhancer category. And as a bonus, I want you guys to choose your absolute favorite Nin ability out of those six categories. So let's start with enhancement. Looking at this category, there aren't many Nin abilities that are exclusive to enhancers only. Since enhancer techniques are fairly simple, they usually aren't named. I mean, a lot of Nin abilities will use the enhancer category, but again, they aren't exclusive to enhancers only. Now the three Nin abilities I'll choose for this category are first, Chairman Natural's 99th Hand, him trying to swat Marion, that was some epic shit. I'll also choose Gon's Jajakin, the rock version, of course. And lastly, my absolute favorite in this category has to be Uvokin's Bit Bang Attack. Moving on to the Manipulator category. There was actually a lot of abilities I liked from this category. In fact, it had the most abilities that I liked out of all the other categories. But I can only choose three, so here we go. First up is Baze's Instant Lover, and I didn't even know how OP her ability was until I actually read about it because I already knew that she could control people just by kissing them, but she can control them up to three hours. That's crazy. She would be a good bodyguard in this current secession war. Next up is Illumi's Needle People ability, which is basically like a souped up version of Shao Nark's ability. And lastly, my favorite out of the bunch is Kalto's Dance of the Serpent's Bite. I don't know what it is about paper, but I just love when it's used in a fight. It may have been Conan from Naruto who turned me on to that, but don't worry about me and my fetishes. <laughs> Moving on to the meta category. I was actually surprised that I liked a lot of the abilities in this category because out of all six of the other categories, emitter is probably my least favorite. First up, we have Jean's Remote Punch, which is basically a copy of Leorio's ability, but, but, much more potent, much more stronger. You can see that he's using multiple fists with this technique, so yeah. Gene for the win. Next we have Phaeton's Rising Sun and I don't think I have to say much about this because we all see what it could do. I mean it had the other Phantom Troop members running so there you go. And finally my favorite in this category has to be Zeon's Dragon Dive and I don't know if it's the way it was presented in the anime that made me like it so much but it was just epic to me because you just see the whole dragon head in the sky and then it just scatters. And then you just see these Nin Aura Dragon Mini shits raining from the sky. To me, that was looking crazy as hell. So that's my favorite. Now going on to the Conjurer category. First up, we have Nose Ability, Hide and Seek. I mean, who doesn't want a Nin Ability where you can have a pocket dimension where you can store snacks and other good shit. Next, we have Sayu's Three Monkeys, which can rob you of your hearing, your speech, and your sight, which will be pretty useful in a fight. And for this last one, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, what the hell? I mean, if you've seen my most underrated Nin abilities, then it won't come as a surprise. But my favorite for the Conjurer category is Shizuku's Blinky. Nigga, what? Yes, Shizuku's Blinky, that shit. I'm just thinking about how OP this ability really is. I mean, all Shizuku has to do is make you bleed and then she can ask Blinky to suck up all your blood and then you're done. 
that's it for you. Please don't judge me for that. I just, I just love Blinky. Moving on to the transmuter side. The first ability I have up is Kilua's Whirlwind, and yes, that is an inability. With Kilua's Godspeed, it's kind of like Jajakin, how it has different variations. You know how Gon has the rock, paper, and scissors. Kilua has Whirlwind and another one, which I can't think of the name, but that's the one that helps him run fast. But the Whirlwind, however, allows him to react to his opponent's movements and it's pretty goddamn OP. Next up is Hisoka's bungee gum. I mean, I don't think I have to say anything about this technique whatsoever because we've seen what it can do. And it has the properties of both bubble gum and rubber. I don't know if you guys knew that. Lastly is Morel's deep purple. <laughs> like, it's funny just saying that shit. Deep purple, bro. Uh, deep purple because just like Hisoka's bungee gum, it is very, very versatile, but I think Morel's Deep Purple is even more versatile than Hisoka's Bungee Gum. It's just so many different uses for this shit. I have to pick it. And lastly, for the specialist category, the very first thing I have up is Pito's Terpsichore. And that's that puppet shit thing that allows Pito to move faster than she's supposed to. It basically enhances all of her physical capabilities and it's kind of underrated in my opinion. Next up is Krolo Skill Hunter. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody will pick this because it gives you access to a whole bunch of stolen inabilities. So pretty easy choice right there. And the last one will come as no surprise, Kurapika's Emperor Time. I mean, it gives you 100% proficiency in every single category. So no surprise there. To me, it's just OP as shit. All right, guys, so that's it for me. Again, I want you guys to comment your favorite Nin abilities out of all six of the categories. Remember, you're picking three, and if you want to, you're naming your absolute favorite in each category. I also will have a poll that has five of my favorite Nin abilities, and I want you guys to choose one out of the five, so do that. But guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this discussion, thank you, whatever, like, comment, subscribe. Sasuke the Savage, out. What's going on guys, Sasuke the Savage here. Happy Halloween to everybody watching this video. Fuck y'all niggas. I'm sorry. What's going on, Sasuke the Savage here today? What's going on, Sasuke the Savage here? Happy Halloween to y'all motherfuckers. Has niggas slash and hang your head on the hook. Read about me, slam your face in the books. Jason Voorhees mask off in this joint. Yeah, I'm a killer. What the fuck is your point? Machete in my hand, grab the whole like natural titties. How many bodies did I catch? About 50? Fuck a machete, I need that strap. Fuck a machete, I need that strap. <laughs> Goodies, nigga.